I want to start this video off by saying this video is not for children, even though it is using a child children's game and a children's cartoon character. It, the product is not meant for children, so I'm uh, just saying, making that disclaimer. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Cindy. I'm trying to move my camera a little bit. It always wants to tilt that way. Anyway, I'm starting on the July Challenge. Uh, I don't know, I think it's July Just Junk Journal Challenge 2. And we can only use junk to make um, a journal. Of course, there's different things we can use, like we use ruler and scissors and that sort of thing. So, um, anyway, I was going to make mine out of this clue box. Because I bought the uh, box, or the game, because I wanted the cards and these things for um, some other journals I was making. So anyway, had the box. I thought, oh, I like the front. Maybe I'll make a journal out of there. Well, you know, Tiny wants to get the clue word and you get the people, you know, the journal's this big, which is too big. So I thought, what if I fold it in half? So that's what I'm gonna to attempt to do. And I hope I've got it fairly square. We'll find out. Um, so anyway, I've already done, this is the front. I've already done the back. I practiced on it. I've got it drying, so uh, I'll show it to you guys later. Or maybe at the first of this video, I'll add it. Uh, and I'm trying to find if it's okay. What I did is try to find halfway. So it's um, eight and a half. So that would be four, would be eight. And then four and a quarter should be a half. So I'm going to get in here and I'm going to mark it now just to make sure that I look again. So it's four and a quarter and four and a quarter. Okay. But I don't really want four and a quarter. I want like a little half inch spine. So I'm going to put a little tick at four and then four and a half. And that will split this center four and a quarter. Does that make sense? Maybe. <laughs> So I'm just going to mark four, four and a half. I try to do it three times. That way I know my line. If one of them's off, then the whole thing won't be off. So, and this cardboard is so thick. I thought I'll just use my scoreboard, right? No, scoreboard. There's, it's just too thick. So the best way I found to do it on the other one was to hold the ruler and just bend it up against that metal ruler. And just kind of work it and give me my bend. Ugh. And see, it's kind of, that's where I didn't trim it very good. It's almost too thick for my uh, trimmer. I'll straighten that all up later, but I can cut it off. Okay, so that one's not too bad. Now let's try the other one. I may trash this whole thing. <laughs> I, I just may. And uh, so I will see how they work before I ever upload the videos. Because if they're horrible, you can see how it just doesn't want to bend. I'm going to work it until it does. Okay, now that gives me that little half inch spine. And it's fairly the same size. Okay. So we got Clue, Clue, the classic mystery game. Okay, now this one did better than my other one because it didn't crack. My other one cracked, so I put a fabric spine on it because we can use uh, a piece of clothing. So I chose a pair of jeans because I didn't want that working with the blue of the box. So I just took my ruler to the um, fabric and it's about the right width, about an inch. For like a little fabric spine so i just on um, the first one i marked both sides of the ruler of course and then i cut it with my piece of shears which you can see i've already done here so i'm just going to cut this one this side and i try to line it up so that the little points match up And I made it too long, of course. I'd rather have it too long than too short. Because it's easy to cut it off once you glue it on there. Okay, now, set that aside. it be some pockets or something. Now, the next trick is getting it on here straight. And that won't work right the first time, probably. So we'll just readjust it. 
I have a brand new bottle of fabric tag, but can I find it? No. I don't know where it's at. It's in some project somewhere. Okay, so this is denim, so it's pretty stout. So I'm going to put quite a bit of glue on it. And I may have to add more once we get it on. And I'm not sure where the end's going to be, so I'm not going to put it at the very end yet. This Fabri-Tac is old and it's thick, so it comes out slow, which is a good, I guess. Okay, now, the trick, trying to get it centered here. Ooh, this one is longer, look at that, perfect length. So when I fold it, yeah, see how it's not straight? So I'm just gonna kind of get it where it's fairly straight. Definitely need to add a little glue here at the end because I didn't glue the end. Sorry, classic, you're gonna get covered up, but that's just the way it is. Okay. Yep, I think that's gonna work. Okay, now a little bit left over here. I'm just gonna take my scissors, snip them off, and I'm gonna go put this under weights. So I think if I flatten it, it'll be okay. We'll see. I'll show you next in the video. So thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, I'm back with the uh, covers with the um, denim glued on the spines and that. This is my favorite, of course, because you got the suspects and you got the word clue. Look at this one. Isn't that wonderful? It says ooh, which is exactly how I feel about it. Ooh. So never fear. I have another word clue here. So I think I'm going to cut that out and glue it over that and that will fix that cover. <laughs> but I just wanted to show them to you. This one's really long. It's like too long. So, but you know what? Other than, since I'm not using the word clue, I guess I could cut it down. I might just do that. So, um, what do y'all think? Cut it down and then put the clue game. I think I'm going to do that because it's just too long. How long is this thing? Not that I can see this ruler. It's 10 inches. Yeah, I'm going to cut it an inch, and then um, we'll see what it looks like. So let's just do that real quick. Get the better ruler. Let's see. And my pencil. I'm going to try an inch. I would take it to my paper trimmer, but with that fabric on I'm not sure how it would do. So we'll just use the old scissors. So... What's the worst that can happen, right? I'll just throw it away. That's what it was to start with. It's the box I was going to throw away. Going through the fabric. It's a stout box. It's still a little too long for me. I think... Uh, how much space is that going to need? Do a rough cut on this. I'll just save those pictures. I'll cut it better once I know. Clue. Okay, I think once that's trimmed off, that's trimmed off. I think it'll be fine. Well, what? I was going to take another inch off, though. trouble get in using their book I mean their game I'm just gonna trim around it real close I'll leave the little copyright thing on so I'm taking if I take a half inch let's try a half inch to start with so it didn't take that long to cut it off that would get down to eight and a half right because it was 10, I took off an inch. Oh, come on, brother, move. Scissors out of the way. Keep 
keeping my ruler from moving. size and it isn't we'll just have to cut cover her head a little bit yep I'm gonna cut this a little closer so we don't have ooh anymore That's pretty close. Okay. I don't even think it hurts to have the C sticking up a little bit. What's that going to look like if I do? It's stout enough. I don't think it's going to bend it too much. Yeah. <laughs> And there's kind of funky. Shall we cover it up? We got Mr. Game twice. I have to do some, uh, something else to cover that up. Anyway, I've got the word clue here. I still think it looks better up here. Stick the C up or not. If I don't, then I've got to deal with that. It's kind of ugly there. So, okay. Um, if I knew where my paints were, I could paint that. Or maybe a little gesso. I know where that's at. And I like to grab a brush. Who needs a little pot? Yeah. My brush is stiff. Okay, so maybe I do need a piece of paper under it. And the word clue out of the way, so. Don't get it everywhere, or it didn't get all mucked up. Ugh, look at that. I think that's enough. Go a little further down, just in case. Anyway. Like I said, the other one's my favorite. Because <laughs> it's not a problem. It looks great. I wonder what the back looks like. It looks fine. So anyway, okay. What I want to do next is I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to glue that on. And then I'm going to start working on some papers for this. There, It's just going to be one signature so it won't be too many pages. So I've got to be kind of selective about what I pick. And I'm going to try not to get in the gesso. So anyway, I will let you guys see what's coming up next when I get it figured out. So thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, just a quick look to show you what they look like. Here it is, dried. And you know, when I was watching the video back, if I hadn't trimmed this so close, it would have been fine on there. Wouldn't have had to gesso that, but it's okay. Um, so this cover's ready. This one was always ready, so that's, you know... It did great on the spines. Um, I we're allowed to have use one book for this challenge, okay? And I just happen to have that Scooby Doo book, and here's the cover. So I've been going through it and picking out things I want. I want the cover, and it's too wide, of course. All the pages are too wide, even for this wider journal. And I'm like, there's no way I can cut this to make it fit. I don't want to fold it. It's already kind of, you know, fragile anyway. So I'm just going to put it in as a page this way. And I'll put some little washi behind that to secure that. But I think um, since these remind me of Fedori, Midori, Midori, 
style, like a traveler's notebook. This one's not so much, but anyway, I'm thinking about doing a Midori style where you just put the little, um, you know, eyelets there and the elastic and you can just slip pages in and out. That way, um, you know, this can be slipped in right on it. If you decide it's too fragile, you can slip it out. So I think that's what I'm going to do on these two. So but anyway, I went through the book and grabbed pages. I think I'll use the whole page somehow. And, um, then some of the pages had things that I trimmed out, like I can use for decorations and some that can be used for pockets and just different elements. So, and since I'm splitting it between the two books, there's not going to be a whole lot of Scooby-Doo, which is fine because, um, you know, it's about Clue and I'm just slipping in a little Scooby-Doo. But I did have the Scooby-Doo book and we could use a book, so. And then this came from a magazine and we can use a magazine, so that's good. And I need to finish cutting out my Clue people here. And uh, I need to go back and I, she said we can use postage stamps. Well, I got that covered too. So um, I need to go back over the list of things we can use for this challenge and um, before I pull my paper. So I think I said that's what I was gonna do next, but you know, I took apart the book next. So anyway, I will keep you guys updated. Thanks for watching, bye.